for today's video this is um, a video to help you um, in answering your learning task um, on page um, 17 okay so this is for your um, week two three of your module in math nine so the topic is the sum and product of the roots of a quadratic equation so the formula are the following the two roots if you add them x sub 1 plus x sub 2 that is equals to negative b over a well when you multiply the two roots or x sub 1 times x sub 2 that is equals to the c over a so x sub 1 and x sub 2 can be interchangeable pwede silang magbaliktad magkabaliktad <clears throat> okay so when, when do we when do we use this for example um, this example problem number one find the sum and product of the roots of the quadratic equation 2x squared plus 8x minus 10 equals to 0 so first step since kakailanganin natin yung a b and c we have to make sure that the quadratic equation is in standard form so yung given natin ngayon naka standard form na siya so, ang A natin dito is 2, our B is 8, and our C is negative 10. So, if we're going to look for the sum, yung sum muna tayo, which is x sub 1 plus x sub 2, ang formula niya po ay negative B over A. So, yeah, fix lang natin or i-substitute lang natin yung values ng A, B, and C. So, ang ano natin is 8, ang B natin. So, negative 8. Okay? And then, our A is 2. Therefore, our sum is negative 4. While on the product, sa product, The formula for product is x sub 1 times x sub 2 is equals to c over a. Ang c natin is negative 10 and then our a is 2. Therefore, the, the, the product of the roots of the quadratic equation 2x squared plus 8x minus 10 equals to 0 is negative Five. Now, um, bakit natin kukunin tong dalawang to, yung sum and product, okay? Minsan, we can use this method also in finding the roots. Uh, wala, pa, wala tayong value ng x dyan kasi ang negative 4, yun yung x sub 1 plus x sub 2. Tapos yung product, siya yung x sub 1 times x sub 2. Uh, kunyari, kailangan mo pang hanapin Find the roots okay? Hanapin natin yung roots Kunyari, hanapin natin yung roots ng 2x squared plus 8x minus 10 equals to 0 Ibig sabihin, uh, we look for the uh, Yung values ng x okay? Ano yung mga x na yun? Ano si x sub 1? Ano si x sub 2? So, ganito lang yun Kapag nahanap ko na yung sum Tsaka yung product ng roots, yung negative 4, negative 5. Isip naman ako ngayon ng dalawang number. Ano yung dalawang number? Na kapag minultiply ko, ang sagot ay negative 5, at kapag in ko ay negative 4 ang sagot. Okay? So, ano kaya yung dalawang number yun? So, doon muna tayo sa may product sa negative 5. Ang negative 5, ano yan? Negative 5 times negative 1. Pero negative 5 times negative 1 is positive 5. So, hindi yun. E kung negative 5 times uh, positive 1. So, kapag negative 5 times positive 1, negative 5 times positive 1, tingnan natin, negative 5 plus 1 is negative 4. Negative 5 plus 1 is equals to negative 4. So, ibig sabihin, ang x sub 1 natin, x sub 1, 
tsaka x sub 2 natin is equals to yung dalawang number na yun. Negative 5 tsaka positive 1. Pwede sila magkapalit. Pwede yung x sub 2 siya yung negative 5. Si x sub 1 siya yung 1. Basta ang, basta ang point dito, yung dalawang roots ay negative 5 tsaka positive 1. Okay, so let us do example number 2. Use the values of A, B, and C in finding the roots of quadratic equation. So instead of using the four methods, yung factory, extracting the square root, quadratic formula, or computing the square, we will use the sum and product of the roots of quadratic equation in finding the values of X, or paghahanapin natin yung mga roots. Okay, so again, ah, Kukunin natin yung A, B, and C. Uh, but before that, we have to make sure that the quadratic equation is in standard form. x squared plus 7x minus 18 equals to 0 is already in standard form. So, ano yung A natin? A is 1, B is 7, and C is equals to negative 18. Okay? So, let us use again the formulas. Yung x sub 1 plus x sub 2 and x sub 1 times x sub 2. So, doon muna tayo sa sum. So, sa sum, x sub 1 plus x sub 2 is equals to negative b over a. So, that is equals to negative 7 over a. Kunyari, ang b nyo is negative, ibig sabihin ito, magiging positive siya kasi negative times negative. But since ang b natin dito ay, ang b natin ay positive, kaya yung magiging numerator niya is negative 7. Ay, sorry. So, neg negative 7 over a, ang a natin is 1. So, ang sum natin is negative 7. So, naman tayo sa product. Okay. Yung product is x sub 1 times x sub 2 is equals to c over a. Ang c natin ay negative 18. Ang a natin is 1. So, ang ano natin, negative 18 divided by 1 is negative 18. Okay. Now, you think of two numbers na kapag minultiply ko, ang sagot ay negative 18, tapos kapag inad ko yung dalawang number na yun, ang sagot ay negative 7. So, ano ba yung mga factors ng negative 18? 9 and 2. Tama? 9, tsaka 2. 9 times 2 is 18. So, yung 9 and 2, pwede maging negative 7 yan. Pero, it's just a matter of ano ang sign ng ilalagay ko. Since negative 2, Ibig sabihin, since negative yung product natin, ibig sabihin, isa dyan ay negative. Isa, isa sa 9 or 2 ang negative. Ngayon, sino? So, tingnan natin yung sa sum. Ang sum, kailangan ang sign ay negative. So, ibig sabihin, yung bigger number, siya yung magiging negative. So, negative 9. Okay, negative 9 and 2. Okay. Ano yung negative 9 and 2? Negative 9 and 2. Negative 9 times 2 equals to negative 18. Negative, negative 9 plus 2 is equals to positive... Ay, sorry. Negative 9 plus 2 is equals to negative 7. Okay? So, ano yung ano natin yan? Ibig sabihin, ang x natin, ang dalawang x po natin ay... Okay. Ang x natin is equals to negative 9, x sub 1, tapos ang x sub 2 natin is 2. Okay. So, there you have it. Um, you can use this in answering your learning task on page, learning task number 1 on page 13. Okay. Thank you very much. I hope this would help, this video will help you in answering your modules. God bless.